So in this video guys I want to address the extremely crucial aspect of trading. The importance of knowing when not to trade. Here we are on August 11th. 20 minutes after market open, market been doing this. This is massive correction. And this is what market does 40% of the time at least. This week market been even more challenging. Market gave us untradeable corrective fluff this week 70 to 80 percent of the time. Only if you know where Fibonacci levels are and if you know what not to enter into you would know where to walk away from computer. This was market in massive correction at reversal zone for two and a half hours. And this is where market finally reversed from. All the levels present in the room from last week. This is where yesterday morning I highly warned you, do not buy this market. And this is where complete collapse played out. This was the end of the minor trend that price reminded you never ever 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 enter into it. And this is when market staged pretty powerful selling pressure and I warned you our only option here to take long. If you know when to walk away from the screen when market dancing in this corrective fluff Trading becomes a lot less torturous. You spend a lot less time in front of the screen. You waste, stop wasting your energy and stop wasting your funds. As this is untradeable structure. Cannot sell, cannot buy this market. This is what market does on any instrument and any time frame. Bullish rally on S&P currently simply overextended. This is bullish rally on S&P 200 points later. Bullish rally came from famous 1800 number that's been in front of you since 2014. Since 2014 I've been warning you as long as 1800 is respected we're only dealing with massive bearish correction. Bullish rally right now, 200 points later, exhausted. This is the level that's been in front of you for months. This is the levels I will be teaching in Fibonacci class. How to identify weeks, months and years in advance using exact same formula as you're witnessing on short term charts. Exact same correction you're witnessing that's playing out in front of you right now, Thursday, August 11th, is exact same correction S&P had done on monthly for year and a half. Except on hourly and one minute chart, we're dealing with two point correction. On monthly chart, that's 300 point correction. Formula remains the same. If you know what correction is and you're an investor, you know when not to invest. And as you're witnessing, if you know where Fibonacci levels are, you know what not to short into. And as you're witnessing time and time again, crucial Fibonacci support as decision point two. 1800 on monthly is reversal zone on weekly. No matter what chart you trade, no matter if you are an investor, no matter if you are fund manager, no matter if you day trader, knowing where correction is the most crucial aspect of your trading. 
As a day trader, you do not touch the markets when market in correction. You simply walk away from the screen. You do not babysit this fluff. In the course, we have a mantra. Market gives you Fappuccino, you go get Cappuccino. Market untradeable. When market in correction. If you have an illusion that you have to be in the markets at all times as a trader, it's completely opposite. In trading, you become gem hunter. You're spending absolute maximum time in front of the screen, 30% of the time. As a knowledgeable trader, you look too short from as high as possible. As I let my students speak for themselves as I've been reporting in the room, shorting the market for multiple number of points. As a knowledgeable trader, you take long from as low as possible, which what you saw yesterday in the trading room. Right now, bullish push overextended. Market is stuck. If you know where Fibonacci levels are, you know what not to enter into. If you know price action rules, you know when not to trade. And that's what we discussed with students this morning. When I said, knowledgeable trader, not in front of the screen. Expect untradeable market. And that's how you spend a lot less time in front of the computer. And in case you missed yesterday's old news, this is where oil is right now. Oil heading back up to this level and higher up. And you're witnessing. I highly encourage you, if you missed oil news yesterday, I've been warning you long time before any news release. Long entry into reversal zone, not an option. And this is exact same dance happening on oil monthly. And this is where we are. 50 will remain brick wall. But if you know where Fibonacci levels are, and you're an investor, you're looking to monitor for your position as low as possible. Only if you know price section and Fibonacci rules. And if you're looking on this chart and you're an investor, you know extremely well where short opportunities on oil were present, as been discussed on the website since 2011. And this was the end of the minor trend on oil at 76. Once 76 was out, oil went into free fall. All exact same levels as you witnessed on S&P. And here are exact same levels on gold. This is where gold is now. And this is where it's taken a massive pause. No surprise here. Gold in massive correction on weekly. Exact same dance as S&P 1 minute chart. Formula remains the same. It doesn't matter if you're a day trader. It doesn't matter if you're an investor. Knowing when not to be in the markets will remain key to your trading and investment decisions. And if you know where Fibonacci levels are, you know what not to enter into. And here is an update on gold. My post from February 2nd. Did you know to acquire position on gold at reversal zone? As I stated on April 2nd, as you can see when gold was at very low levels. Updating my prior post from November 2015, as gold started bullish rally from reversal zone. On February 2nd I said gold is heading to 1300. 1300 had been reached. Currently gold very, very close to reversal zone at 1400. So if you find day trading torture, if you respect one market in correction, it becomes a lot less torturous. If you know where reversal zone is on gold, 
you know where to enter and you know where to exit your position. Using exact same formula, I demonstrate to you on short-term Fibonacci charts. As you're witnessing, here we are. I warned you, entering long into Fibonacci resistance, not an option. And that's the power of knowledge and that's the power of Fibonacci, the only predictive tool in the market. No indicator on the planet will give you these levels far in advance. Only your knowledge of the price and Fibonacci will. And that remains the key to your day trading and investment decisions. And that's what taught in the course daily.